What is going on, folks? It's your boy Luke here, RM All Star 100, coming at you with an amazing brand new Lego video. Today, folks, I am super excited to be showing off to you set 7476, the Iron Predator versus T Rex baby from 2005, the Dino Attack theme. This set came out with 298 pieces, retails for $40 back in the day. Back in 2005, you could get this bad boy for only $40. And oh my goodness, look at this thing. It's a freaking beast, dude. Big giant tank and even bigger giant or T Rex, man. Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. Dang. That is so sick. You know what? Let's jump in. First, let's take a look at our Iron Predator. So. I gotta say, man, I am just a huge fan of this set. Honestly, one of my favorite sets. I'm so glad I was able to rebuild it during the quarantine, but as the title may suggest, oof, makes me so sad. Yes, that's right, folks. Unfortunately, we are missing a fourth tread there, so I scrounged through my entire collection, looked at every place I thought it could be, but to no avail. I only found three of these bad boys, so... I got a brick link order all set up. I'm probably gonna finalize that after I finish recording this video and uh, order one of these uh, treads along with a bunch of other pieces. But yeah, the main thing of that order being the tread. So, you know what? Other than that, though, I gotta say, this is an awesome set. I'm just, like I said, you know, I'm so happy. Could rebuild it. Um, you know, as I do with a lot of these rebuild sets, it's not exactly 100%. Perfect, accurate, complete with every color. So, obviously, in the original build, this wasn't red, this wasn't blue. But um, to me, that's that's okay. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to like resell it or anything. It's just for me to have in my collection. And honestly, having it, even though it may not be 100% completely accurate, I am still so happy to have it. So, yeah, um, I guess the main feature of this bad boy would be uh, this giant gun right there. So. Um, yeah, it does have one of those rubber tip bullets. Unfortunately, I think it's warped maybe a little bit, or I don't know exactly what happened, but um, I was able to find a substitute. Here it is right there. And uh, yeah, so go ahead, load that up, and uh, you can fight our giant T-Rex by pulling back that little pin there, and boom, kill shot. So yeah, that's the main feature, this giant cannon. Um, very cool. It's like like a scorpion almost. That's kind of what I the vibes I get from this set. So yeah, um, another really awesome thing I want to point out are these are all stickers. Set seven four seven six. Good nod to the set. But um, yeah, all these are stickers. That um, these over here too. That one peeled a little bit. Um, but I mean, other than that, man, you know, this set's fifteen years old and the stickers are still on pretty much perfectly. I don't know. That's that's freaking dope, dude. I gotta tell you. So, you know what? We'll uh, pop out the uh, minifigures here, and we'll take a look at the actual interior of the the Iron Predator. So you can see some more stickers back there. Some very nice printed uh, computer pieces and such. We got some sort of I don't know propane paint, propane tank, maybe. So yeah, that uh, nice cylindrical that lime lime green yellowish we got a steering wheel up front here and a very nice mounted turret or gun so to speak so to speak i don't know why i said that but yeah still very cool nonetheless um oh also yeah this this is kind of a little ladder you can swing that down and uh allow some guys to climb up do, do, do. get in so yeah um also nice little detail we got these like tooth pieces maybe some some spikes some thorns i don't really know but it's a nice little added detail there um so yeah this thing spins around as you kind of saw and uh very nice construction there um one thing i should note there should be a printed or not printed stickered tile there um unfortunately i could not find that it's got a control panel um i'll show it to you when we take a look at the box all right, I lied. We're actually going to show off the T-Rex here first. So this guy is a freaking monster, dude. Look at him, man. 
Um, just for comparison, here's one of the T-Rexes we get nowadays from the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park set. So this guy just towers over this dude. He looks like a little baby. Just go run away and cry, baby. But um, yeah, so this thing is just massive. Similar to the Jurassic World ones, you know, it comes... There's just a leg right there, dude. This just... It's just a giant mold. Um, the arms, too, come off like that, so... Pretty, pretty cool looking arms there. Um, and yeah, he can open his mouth. Not very wide, but just kind of, there's a little bit of, little bit of mobility you can do. Um, yeah, doesn't want to open back up. Yeah, the, I guess the coolest part is, boom, she lights up. Yeah, 15 years and this, this still lights up. So yeah, gotta say that's, that's pretty impressive, you know? I think the other eye works a little better. All right, there we go. I did get the mouth open, and as you can see, the the tongue does light up too. You can kind of see that in there. But yeah, so nice. Um, just you know, really, really cool looking dinosaur. He was very scary looking, very mean. Um, you know, and of course, it wouldn't be Lego unless they included four little studs right there. So yeah. Um, but wow, this guy, he's just a monster, man. Just, there's, compared to a little minifigure right there, would not want to run into that guy. All right, folks, and here she is, the box, all the way back from 2005. Glad I still have it, um, in my collection, kind of storing it. Um, but yeah, you know, there's a look, pretty cool box art here. It's kind of like the end of the world, apocalypse vibes, you know, you got fire everywhere, stuff's burning up, but. There she is, the Iron Predator, taking on that T-Rex. Um, you know, all the stuff we still see on LEGO. Um, but yeah, go ahead, pop this bad boy open. There's a nice little lid there. And um, there's some pretty, you know, cool descriptions of the set. Savage mutant dinosaurs have appeared in cities around the world, causing chaos and destruction. A crack team of heroes armed with top-secret technology technologically advanced vehicles attempts to stop the lego dino attack very dramatic you know they gotta spice it up and they got it spanish and french maybe you know i don't know but there's a look at all the features and stuff uh three minifigures what i thought was interesting in their specs is holding a actual helmet piece whereas in the set it gives them one of those and it's not in the instructions either so i think that's some sort of printing error or something because yeah it's not included in the piece count or anything like that um in the instructions here they don't actually give you you know at the end sometimes they list the pieces and their numbers so i guess they didn't do that in 2005 but yeah oh here's the instruction manual by the way um and then show it to you but you know it's good still got it so that's cool um, but yeah, look at the dinosaur, all that good stuff, Iron Predator, just a bunch of features and stuff as they do in the Lego set, so kind of open that up again, that's where the dino head would be and all the pieces would be in there, so very cool, I'm glad I still had this box, you know, good look at it, another look at the minifigures, let's look at the back too, nice, there's a look at all the other sets from the line, so we got the, uh, the helicopter with the other one, the big uh, Jeep truck thing and the two smaller sets. I actually have both of these too, so very nice. Um, yeah, I guess there's an alternate build model. That's pretty sick. Um, I think I like the actual one better, but yeah. And then here, it's another look at some more box art. War is raging in the streets of Earth. You know, we got dinosaurs flying around, running in alleyways. You know, pretty cool though. Very nice. So, yeah, that's a look at the box here, baby. Glad I still got it. All right, folks, and real quick, I did just want to take a look, a close-up look at the minifigures here. So from left to right, we have Viper, Specs, and Digger. So, yeah, for 2005, honestly, I'm really digging the printing on these guys. They got pretty solid, good details on there. Um, not much going on on the back, though. And uh, we'll go ahead and pop off the uh, helmets here real quick so you can just get a good look at all the printing going on. So, yeah, very nice. Um, Got to say, I really do like specs there. I think that, that gray with the mask, pretty
pretty sick looking. So, yeah. All right, folks, and that just about does it. Yeah, so there's a look at uh, the Iron Predator versus T-Rex set, you know. Pretty awesome set. Came out in 2005. Again, retailed for only $40, you know. I know that was 15 years ago, but, I mean, think about what $40 gets you today, you know. This is awesome. 298 pieces, but still awesome. Huge box, and, like, think think about all these massive molds. You know, look at that. That's five pieces right there. Plus, it's battery-powered. You know, the treads are big. This is a piece. These are four pieces. So, a lot of really large molds. And I think, you know, for $40 back in 2005, that's a very solid value. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think of the, the, the set, this line in general. I think they only did the one wave of, of a Dino Attack. I'm pretty sure they only did that. And also, it's interesting because this series was deemed a little bit too violent for European audiences. So it's different here in the States than it is in Europe. There's some minor differences in some of the weapons and such. So pretty interesting. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, as always, you know, subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, make sure you have a great day. We will see you next time. Peace.